What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Philadelphia Flyers firing Craig Berube and, um, you know, needing having a vacancy of the head coaching position. You know, I, I think a lot of this has to do with the flawed fundamentals of this, this Flyers team. Um, you know, they've lacked the true number one defense when, since Chris Pronger went down, you know, th was it three years ago. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really not even lack of effort from the front office because they lose Pronger. You know, bad luck. They went out, they tried to get Shea Weber, and they just, um, you know, they, they couldn't do it. You know, it's national matchy offer sheet. And, uh, you know, it's, it's tough for a coach to win, um, you know, in this league, in the NHL, without, you know, a great blue line. And they kind of piece it together. And, you know, I thought Bruby did a fantastic job last season getting the most out of that team, um, you know, with, you know, after, in the wake of fire, people will be like, as I just completely lose my train of thought. Uh, and then, you know, this year, and they had their ups and downs, and then, you know, ended up obviously missing the playoffs by, you know, a significant amount of points, but no, not that bad, but you catch my drift. I, I think the, the new head coach is going to be signed up for a rebuilding, you know, stint. I, I don't think it's going to be an overnight fix in Philly. This organization doesn't stay down long, but I just think they got to address the defense position. And whether that means, you know, going out and getting a guy in free agency or, you know, making a big trade. Uh, I'm not completely absolving the front office of the blame. I mean, signing Vinny LeCavier to that contract was kind of ridiculous. And LeCavier and Bruby never saw eye to eye. You know, LeCavier wanted to play for Laviolette when he signed up, when he signed with the Flyers. And then, you know, three games in Vinny's stint in Philly, he shown the door. Uh, Peter Laviolette shown the door. So it's like, what do you do? Um, and then obviously him and. The two of them had many, seemed like, you know, every week or every other week, there'd be new reports out of Philly that they, you know, spat or whatever. So, again, not the best situation, but I think Ruby is a good hockey mind. I think he's better suited to be an assistant coach, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I think Philly will go out and try to get a veteran head coach. Whether Claude gets fired in Boston, he'd definitely be a candidate. Um, I said on my piece of Rant Sports, I think Kevin Deneen would be a good candidate. Um, you know, but then if Guy Boucher wants to come back to the NHL, you'd be foolish not to bring him in for an interview. Babcock, I don't know. You know, if he leaves Detroit, would it be to go to Philly? That remains to be seen. And Tom McClellan in San Jose. I mean, if he gets fired, which obviously after yesterday, so was it yesterday, two days ago, with Logan Couture and Joe Thornton signing off on him, that's, you know, looks like his fate in San Jose is sealed. So this is, um, yeah, this is what it is. And, uh, again, I think the Flyers made the right choice, Fire and Bruby, and I think they will go after a veteran head coach that has. They're not really looking for a rookie, obviously, um, I, as I just said that three or four times. But, yeah, I think that's that's consensus right now. You know, see what happens. I mean, again, this organization doesn't stay down for too long, but they got to tweak a few things to become, you know, a perennial contender again. So we'll see what happens. And that onus falls just as much, if not more, upon the front office, if not entirely the front office, um, that it doesn't go to staff. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all. Get some sort of the power play with CJ. See you for episode with the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.